Hi, it's your one and only Horace Skill Coach Team Legend, and I welcome you especially to the uh, Judgment Strategy 5. Okay, this is a redoing redo video. I'm making the, the vi I'm remaking the video right so it's you it, it, it you get to understand this uh, trade more and better. Okay, so uh, so now I had to add some other indicators for better and proper understanding okay so let, let me show you the indicators first first we have the fractals we have the moving average we have the awesome os os um, statistic oscillator we have the alligator and then we have the directional movements don't worry about this ones. Don't worry about this ones. I'm, I'm using them for something else. All right. So these are the mark, the indicators you need. Your moving average. You have. A, let's make this shift. Let me take this shift back to uh, eight. Period five. Shift. All right. Method simple. Method simple, apply to close, 4 pixel, no levels, okay, that's the moving average, then you have your fractal, 20 point, 20, 50 in your levels, and then done, these are the fractals, these arrows, these arrows, I will explain them to you later, Satostic oscillator, in a statistic oscillator, we have this one, 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 low, high, simple. And under our levels, we have 20 and 80. Done. Okay. And uh, we have the alligator. Okay. These are the alligator settings. These are the alligator settings. No levels. All right. And just take a screenshot of it then you click done and then finally we have the average directional movement in your in indicator window 2 period 14 red make it red and then here are your levels 26 and 7507 you click done now this is the, these are the rules number one rule Remain on your demo account and back test it. Several till you are confident with this strategy. Number one rule: Remain on your demo account. Keep back testing till you are confident with this strategy. All right. Do not worry if the strategy would. Uh, do not worry if the strategy will repel. No, it's not going to repaint because it's a strategy that will keep working every single day. Okay, it's going to keep working every single day okay so keep testing on your demo account till you're confident with it all right and then number two rule remain on a lower when you start working with your real accounts remain on a low lot size because as this strategy can make you rich in a twinkle of an eye it can also wipe your account to zero in before a twinkle of an eye all right it's a very dangerous strategy so as effective as it is so defective it is too so let's get straight to the strategy number one we have the moving average this moving average lets us know when we are in an uptrend or a, down, or a consolidation period all right or a downtrend all right so with the moving average we know the movement of the markets this fractal lets us know our support and resistance levels all right it lets you know your support and resistance levels the statistic oscillator with the uh, alligator in it the alligator is the red green and blue line you can see so we all know that when you throw a stone up and it, no matter how high you throw it it will surely get to a resistant level and come back down is that not so with the alligator and the statistic oscillator we have uh, 20 zero, zero, and we have 80 zero, zero. 80 zero, zero is the highest buy and 2000 is the is the lowest sell so whenever it gets to 2000 it has no option but to go back up 
and when it gets to 8000 it has no option but to do what come back down let's take a quick recap from here it started going back up here when it got up here it faced what we call the consolidation period all right after consolidation it was trying to think where would i go next up or down and after consolidation it what it did what it went down it went down isn't it it went down it went down it went down and and got to a consolidation period again the consolidation period consolidation means a time when the trend is not moving up or down it's just on a particular level all right it's just on a particular level and i will show you how to figure that out this indicator will let us know how to figure out the consolidation period so after the consolidation period you can see the line was just moving flat flat until it began to go up isn't it and after it began to go up began to go up and go to another con now is an is on another consolidation period so what do you think will happen next it's gonna do what come down after consolidating now with this order with this uh, average directional movement we it tells us when the market is trending it does not tell us where the market is trending though no. it does not tell you what, where it is going whether up or down but it only tells you when it is trending how do we know about that when the when this red line is above 26.00 it means the market is trending if you take a look at it it was trending up isn't it that's why you see it above 26 and when the and when the red line is below 26 it means the market is consolidating let's look at it at this period where it was under this 26.00 the market was consolidating and that's where you notice that this uh, alligator was at this level before it started thinking of where to go it was at this level at this level it means it's still consolidating so this is a period where you should be extremely careful do not make a buy or a sell because the market will keep going up and down and playing with your emotions until you find out that it has broken out of this 26 point that means it has taken a new level it's going somewhere okay so do not open a trade when it's at this level if you see it's at this level don't open a trade be patient it's forex forex is forever isn't it so if even if even if it takes a whole day and it's still at this level be patient allow it to get out of this level unless you wish to take the risk okay so this strategy works best when you are on a trend either up or down okay because we want to play around with the trend so this so i've told you now this is the work of this indicator it does not tell you where the trend is going so you don't say uh, it's going up means the trend is going up or it's coming down means the trend is coming down let me show you a quick example when it was on a downtrend here it was still here going up isn't it so that's for you to know that it does not tell you where the trend is going it tells you only when it is out of consolidation period and when it was coming down and um, got to this 26.0 this was the consolidation period until the trend started going up again so that is it now how to trade now if you want to trade remember you're in a five minutes time frame but volatility 75 is the best for it but you can also use volatility 25 and other ones all right all right don't use boom and crash it does not work for boom and crash because you know we you we all know how boom and crash works boom and crash will either be going up going up going up and spike but this one we are playing we are using this market because this is a market that goes up and down immediately all right so what we want to do is we want to trade when it now at this level this remember what i told you if you must follow my rule is at this level is a consolidation period this is not a period to trade at all okay it's not a period to trade at all you trade when it ha is beginning to trend if you look at this guy this guy is just moving like this it means he has not made a decision where he wants to go next so with this we should be able to know that at the end of this it's going to be a downtrend in fact wow that's interesting at the end of this right now it's gonna be a downtrend i hope i predicted it well and i will still come back to check my prediction all right so even with this someone should be able to know where the market is gonna go soon so but so don't get it twisted it might also decide to keep going up <laughs> forex trade is funny okay so now uh 
so now this now is not the best time to trade anyway but i'll just i'll just want to show you okay you can make sure you watch the last video the first video of this strategy five that video will show you how to enter a trade okay but if you want me to show you again i will show you you take up a trend line now you're, you're working with the current candlestick okay now the current candlestick ended ended here isn't it so you can decide to take it up here all right now you can see it's bullish and what you want to do at this time is to buy because it's going up isn't it you buy but before you buy you want to make sure you watch from this level so before you place a buy you want to make sure this two lines comes down once they come down you hit on buy believing that it's gonna go up and when it goes up it will cross the line of your buy buying level all right i'm walking so let us take a try on that before you buy go back to the front end and check if it's still working on that so now let us make a buy since is is a, is a okay let me not get you guys confused let me change this bull color to uh let me make my bull color green okay so since this is on is on a green color all right don't forget i'm only making this trade because i want to show you how to place your buys and sell it's not trending yet so since it's in a green uh, candlestick all right it has entered a new candle so before i buy i need to look at the candle movements so once you observe the candle movement first you should be able to figure out where the support is and where the level is all right so wait for it let it form now if we look at it it's actually wanting to come down isn't it so what we're gonna do right now is you place your level here all right so it means we're gonna sell since it's a red candlestick all right it means we're gonna sell so we'll wait for it to come up a bit wait for it to come up before you place a sell wait for it place your sell and wait for it it will come down for you and if you notice it's going against you close your trade that's why i said it's a very dangerous game close all right i was i made profit on that don't say i want it to come down 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 it might not come down 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 though okay now you might say that profit is too small but that's just the deal you have to keep working with the lowest lot size so you don't blow your account but if you be lucky you can try 50 okay let's see it's still on a red candle so since it's still on a red candle let me place 50 I need it to come up, come up again, come up, come up, place a cell, wait for it, wait for it, close, and I've made profit on that, alright, so I just made profit on that, and let me show you from this end, we click here, and as you can see, this is the profit I've just made, alright, this is the profit I've just made, Remember, this was when I was on a small lot size. That's why you see the 0.06. Now I came to a higher lot size. I got $5 instantly. But you must make sure you stay on a lot size you can afford. Because if you lose it, it can blow your accounts. So that's the rule. Thank you very much. I remain your one and only for a skill coach, Team Legend. Please try to recommend people to me. People whom you would love me to also help train the Forex markets. Refer them. Let's work and keep winning.